Good morning, church family. Welcome back to our journey through John. Uh, today we're going to read John chapter 1, verses 9 through 13. I want to encourage you to go ahead and turn in your Bible to John chapter 1. Uh, if you're not able to do that, I want to encourage you to read along with us, uh, or listen along with us. Shoot, let me start that over. Okay. <clears throat> Good morning, church family. Welcome back to our journey through John. Uh, today we're going to read John chapter 1, verses 9 through 13. I want to encourage you, if you can, to go ahead and turn your Bibles to John chapter 1. If you're not, I want to encourage you to listen along with us as we read God's Word together. John chapter 1, starting in verse 9. The true light, which gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to his own and his own people did not receive him. But to all who did receive him, he, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, who are born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. I just wanted to share uh, this morning something with you that actually Brian Wright pointed out uh, and shared with me not long ago. Um, he actually preached this particular passage uh, not long ago at our church, and while he was studying, he came to a realization that uh, in the text we're presented with three types of people. Um, and these three types of people, I think, are good examples of the types of people that we're going to run into in the world um, as they are confronted with Jesus. Uh, and the first type of person is this. There's the type, there's the type of people that don't know him, uh, that uh, don't, don't realize that he's coming. They don't, they don't know him when he shows up. They don't, they don't even know why he's come. And um, they're ignorant, deeply ignorant of their, their creator. Um, the fact is, that the way John puts it, is that the true lights come into the world and uh, he's in the world and the world was made through him, yet the world did not know him. Uh, and this reminded me of Romans chapter 1, verses 19 through 20, uh, because the truth of the matter is these people are ignorant of this truth, but that it's because they're suppressing the truth. Um, be, this is what Paul says, uh, For what can be known about God is plain to them, because God has shown it to them. For His invisible attributes, namely His eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world and the things that have been made. In other words, people can look around them and know that there's a Creator. But when they see him, they just don't recognize him. There's a second group of people. Now, these are the people who don't receive him. If you keep reading uh, in our passage today, it said, um, He came to his own, but his own people did not receive him. In other words, these are people who recognized that there was something special about Jesus, understood there was something uh, different about him, that maybe he was the one, but they didn't receive him. They rejected him. They decided that they didn't want this Messiah. And so there are people out there that are going to hear the good news about Jesus. They're going to know that there's something special about Him, but ultimately they're going to, they're going to decide to reject Him uh, for whatever reason. They, they may want to keep living the way that they, uh, they're living. They may, may not want the kind of Messiah that Jesus shows up to be. Um, and then there's this third group of people. Uh, and this third group of people is the way uh, John puts it is, these are the people who did receive him. Uh, these are the people who listened to, to the, the words of Jesus. They saw him. They, they knew there was something different about him, and they believed in him. And it goes on and says they didn't just believe in him, but they believed in his name. And what does it mean when the Bible says things like they believed in the name of somebody? Well, the name was very closely associated with the character of a person. And, and that means that when they saw Jesus, they saw the things that he said, the things that he did, and they knew that there was something special about him. And because there was something special about him, they decided to put their full trust in him. And because they put their full trust in him, he gave them a very special privilege. And that special privilege was to become children of God. That means literally they became a part of the family of God. And so which of the, ty that, that, well, the question that we have to answer each of us individually is which of the three types of people are we? Um, are we the person that hears about Jesus and doesn't even know what the story is about and don't really care? Uh, are we the type of people that hear about Jesus and we know that there's something different about Him and we know that maybe He's special, but we just ultimately reject Him because we want to live life a particular way or we're looking for somebody else altogether? Or are we the type of, that, type of people that receive Him and as we receive Him, we get to ex experience God's goodness. We get to experience what it means to be a part of the family of God. 
things like the peace, love, and joy of God are now ours because of the fact that we're a part of His family, the fact that we have a future with Him in the new heavens and the new earth because we have now become a part of the family of God. So which type of person are you? Which type of person are the people that you've been witnessing to? We talked last time about being a witness. I want to encourage you, when you witness to people, you're probably going to get one of those three reactions. They don't know Jesus, they don't want to receive Him, or they will say yes and they will receive Him. I want to encourage you, keep sharing, keep witnessing, and let God handle the results. Let's pray together and give God thanks for sending Jesus and allowing us to be a part of His family. Father, we thank you so much for the gift of salvation uh, that's given to us in Jesus Christ, that by believing in his name we become children of you, Father, uh, that we get to become children of God and, and be a part of your family. Uh, we thank you for this incredible privilege. We're, we're thankful for the, the additional privileges that come along with being your child, the things like hope and joy and peace. And we pray, Lord, that we would never forget this special, special privilege that you've given us through Jesus Christ. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.